Well, Webster University is celebrating 100 years. The university is having a year-long celebration to recognize its centennial anniversary. Barbara O'Malley, Chief of Communications, is here with us and joins us with all the information on this. Barbara, thank you for joining us. Let's start from the beginning here. Tell me uh, how the university started. It is just a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you so much for having us because we are having such a great time kicking off our centennial year. Our university actually started in 1915 mm. by an order of nuns. And we have truly, over the past 100 years, transformed into a global institution. We started in 1915 with only five students, and today we have over 20,000 students studying worldwide. Wow, you hear that? Five students and now 20,000. Yeah, yeah. What a feat. Um, you brought photos, so well, let's sure uh, look at some of the photos and so and explain uh, the beginnings here. All right, we'll do. Okay, so here you see some of the our founders. These are the sisters of Loretto, the original order of nuns that started Webster University. We were actually started as one of the very first colleges for women west of the Mississippi River. Hmm. Okay, and then next. And here you have some of our very first graduates. You know, what? one of the things Webster has always been known for is bringing education to the underserved or for people who it wasn't quite easy to get a higher education. So you can only imagine in 1915, it wasn't all that easy for women to, ach to achieve higher right. education. Absolutely. So this was a great achievement in history. What's the next one here? Now, I like this photo. Isn't it, that a great like photograph? It looks like a to Beaver or something. You know what? And what <laughs> is beautiful about this photograph is that in our residence halls today, you'll see the exact same camaraderie going on. Except today, right. there might be guys because, of course, now we also allow men to attend our university. Was that a PR photo, uh, perhaps? It sure looks like one, doesn't it? Yeah, people yeah. to the university. Definitely. And uh, in, in numbers, we know that the university has grown. Um, but academically, what are some of the things that are, are here now at the university that wasn't maybe some years ago? You know, um, we have always been known as being very creative. Mm -hmm. So the students who come to Webster are truly creative students, whether they're studying in communications, in education, in the arts and sciences, in business, or in fine arts. They define themselves as being very creative, mm -hmm. and they are. So we're well known for, we have a conservatory, so we have some of the most talented people from around the United States who come to Webster and they sing, they dance, they perform, they end up on Broadway. Um, are we, are we're very talented students who come to the School of Communication, so we're well known for our programs like photographer, vi photography, videography. But what we're not so well known for is our one of our fastest growing programs is, all, is in the sciences. Hmm. So programs like biology. So I think that as we move forward into our next century, I think you're going to find us teaching more and more in those areas of study that our students are really wanting to study in, including science. Right. Barbara, what do you think Webster University offers students uh, in the St. Louis region that a lot of the uh, other universities don't? or students worldwide? Yeah, that's a great question. One of the things that I think we're really known for is that we offer students the ability to connect truly with people from around the globe. <laughs> I mean, we have locations in five different countries uh, in about 60 cities around the United States. It's absolutely amazing. And our students not only can connect with other students from around the world, but communities around the world and make friends. They make business acquaintances. They open doors to opportunity so it really is a spectacular opportunity and it's more than study abroad people mm -hmm. actually live in these locations that you're seeing and just rewinding a bit about the centennial celebration what are some of the other events that people can look forward to you know, every single month now through November of 2015, we're going to be doing something special. Hmm. So I invite you to check out our website and get a list of all the activities. But just real quickly, our film series is very, has been already kicked off and is very popular. We started off with the silent film, hmm. of course, because what we're doing with the film series is celebrating a different historic film for every decade since 1915. Oh, wow. So the next film coming up, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. The next film coming up would be The Roar. 20s. Hmm. Yeah, so we invite you all to attend one of the film There's series. There's a little education involved in that too. Exactly. <laughs> That's what we're all about. Our faculty are also working on a faculty series of talks where it's going to be completely free, open to the public, and they're going to be talking on some of the topics that is in their areas of, of academic expertise. Oh, fantastic. We'll come back and talk more with that. 
Uh, up next, exciting news for prospective students looking to make Webster University their school of choice. That's after the break.